This is a quick tip from Drowning in Yarn, and I'm Caleb. I'm going to show you how I place this waist yarn in this stocking where I'm going to knit the heel at the end. So you'll just want to follow your pattern and get to the stitch where it tells you to start knitting with your waist yarn. And when you get there, you'll just drop your working yarn to the back of your work and pick up your waist yarn. You'll want to use a yarn that's contrasting and that is about the same thickness as your working yarn and that is not splitty. That's really all there is to picking a waist yarn. So you'll go ahead and join it, leaving the tail to the front of your work. This just helps you find it later. And then just knit across the appropriate number of stitches as called for in your pattern with your waist yarn, just knitting as normal. There's nothing special going on here. I'm just knitting these stitches. I'm just using my waist yarn and my working yarn is right where I left it. When I get to the end, I always double check because I never count properly the first time. So when I'm done, I will drop the tail of the waist yarn. I'll break the yarn and then drop the tail in the front. And then I'm just gonna slip all of those stitches back to my left hand needle. So you just slip them one by one from your right hand needle to your left hand needle. And you're doing this because you're gonna knit all of those stitches again, but this time using your working yarn. So when you get back to where your working yarn was dropped, you pick it up and just knit across all of the stitches knit in your waist yarn as normal. Nothing special here. You're just knitting those stitches. What the waist yarn is going to do is when you remove it later, it will expose live stitches above and below the waist yarn so that you will have stitches in which you can begin knitting your heel in this case. When you get to the end of the waist yarn, you're just gonna follow your pattern and knit according to what your pattern says. You can see I have the waist yarn there, the stitches with the working yarn on top. I'll just continue knitting with that working yarn. And here you can see what it looks like. The waist yarn is in there with the stitches above and below. Because you left those, the tail of your waist yarn in the front, it's gonna be easy to go back at the end and find it. It should also be easy because you use that contrasting color of yarn. And that's all there is to it.